మొదటి పాట proclaims peace. Celebrate your festivals, O Judah. Fulfill your vows. <coughs> For never again shall the wicked invade you. They are utter utterly cut off. For the Lord is restoring the majesty of Jacob, as well as the majesty of Israel. Though ravagers have ravaged them and ruined their branches. Ah, city of bloodshed, utterly deceitful, full of booty, no end to the plunder. The crack of the whip and rumble of wheel, galloping horse and bounding chariot, horsemen charging, flashing sword and glittering spear, piles of dead, heaps of corpses, dead bodies without end. They stumble over the bodies. I will throw filth at you and treat you with contempt and make you a spectacle. Then all who see you will shrink from you and say, Nineveh is devastated, and who will bemoan her? Where shall I seek comforters for you? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. The day of their calamity is at hand. Their doom comes swiftly. Indeed, the Lord will vindicate his people, have compassion on his servants. It is not how to deal with them and to See now that I, even I, am he. There is no God besides me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. It is not how to deal with them. When I wet my flashing sword and my hand takes hold on judgment, I will take vengeance on my adversaries and will repay those who hate me. 
to the other side as to leave to other people so from these two incidents we can understand these two great men francis assis the xavier and alexander the great had given a lot of time and energy in reflecting the gospel of the day jesus had clearly said that we don't carry anything from this world to other side whatever that we gain has to be passed on to somebody else the only thing that matters for us is the purity of our heart and doing something great for the other people examination of conscience is an important thing we saw in both of these two great men examination of our own conscience leads us to understand that we need to say yes to god's will only when we understand we only when we say yes to god's will we embrace poverty we embrace the thing that matters to god we embrace the qualities that are in heaven so examination of conscience tells us that we need to take it to the lord that really bothering us that really do not matter in this world the things that we possess are really important to us the virtues the work the things like virtues and the values of the of the gospel god in a way inspires us to do examination of conscience surrendering ourselves to the will of god and seeking his grace really we want to we do we do we look for changes changes that come to to do uh, changes that happen to us for better always the inspiration coming coming to us from the inspiration of the lord during this mass in a special way we pray for the power of the holy spirit to inspire us to do the examination of conscience and to take to the things that are really bothering us and to take to the lord that we really ask the ask the lord that we want to change for better for good let us place before the lord some of the things that are that some of the things that we have for the day in a special way we pray for our catholic faith that god may inspire us to go in his love and mercy let us pray to the lord Amen. we pray for ourselves that god may give us good health mind and body let us pray to the lord lord we pray for the people who have asked our prayers through our prayers that the lord may touch them let us pray to the lord lord hear us we pray for the travelers for safety let us pray to the lord lord hear us in the silence offer all our personal and family intentions let us pray to the lord lord hear us father of mercy and love we thank you for giving us this beautiful day as we experience your gift continue to be with us guide us above all protect us from all kinds of dangers and calamities we make this prayer through christ our lord amen
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the praise and glory of the name, for our good and good of all the Church. Receive the grac graciously sanctified these gifts, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, Make our first an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyrs, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear your witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end, we are praying. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son of my eyes, and let your sins come to the name of your Lord. O Son of my eyes. You are indeed a holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this soul of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up to you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this soul of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of the faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and profess the resurrection until you Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of the charity, together with the Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, Saint Sixtus, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's right and found by divine teaching, we get to see our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done.
Despite the 